Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. Did you know that your die cuts can go dimensional? And by that, I mean make them 3D. They can, and I have several set up on the table. This is just the butterfly. And I've cut them out of a couple of different colors, and then I've cut slits and interlocked them together in order to create labels to put on their desks for things like back to school night or open house. When you want the parents to come in and to be able to see where their child sits, it's kind of fun to have something that the child has made, like this butterfly with their name on it, to sit at their place. What you need to do to begin with is you need to cut out two of the die cut shapes. So in this case, it's two butterflies. I happened to find paper or cardstock that was two colored, which I thought was really kind of fun. So I decided to use that. The thing you want to do first is take your ruler and just write down the center. Put a pencil line on both of the two butterflies. And then go back and add on each along that pencil line, place another pencil line that indicates the middle. So I'm using that because I'm going to actually cut halfway down from the top on one, and I'm going to cut halfway up from the bottom on the other one. Let me go ahead and cut it, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to cut down to that middle line and then stop. And because it's a little bit thick, I'm going to go back and cut right next to it just a little sliver. And if I do this, you should be able to see just that tiny little sliver that I'm going to pull off. So I have a slit. And then since this one I cut down from the top, on this one I need to cut up from the bottom. That is all you need to do. Now when you go back and you align the slits, lock them together and slide them together like so, you've created butterfly shapes. Now notice it doesn't want to sit up. That's because this particular shape needs a base. So the simplest thing to do is to line them back up, take my ruler, place a line that is right where the wings will hit. When my ruler is aligned with the wing tips, then I'm going to mark on the body. That's where I have to trim. Now I have the wings plus the body to act as support. And look at how cool that is and how well that stands up. At this point, you can hand it back, and the students can either use their own handwriting to label it, or the example that I did, I just took a sticker sheet and went back and placed the names on both halves so that when it's all together, you can read the student's name. You know, you can make all of your die cuts dimensional by cutting out pairs, cutting slits, and then simply sliding them together.